on average, about half the people that are, that are caught in grain don't come out alive. That is an alarming message from University of Kentucky agricultural engineer Sam McNeil, who wants to raise awareness this spring about the importance of working in and around grain storage bins. Already this year, seven U.S. producers, including one in Kentucky, have lost their lives in grain entrapments, falls, and equipment-related incidents on the farm. There are, have been seven deaths recorded thus far in the U.S. Mm -hmm. We only have one in Kentucky, and that's the only one I've known I've heard of in several years. Now, as I say, there's not out there, not others out there. I wanted to uh, let's, uh, at least let agents know right. uh, that resources are out there, um, and we may have more problems. So I want to try to avoid any other fatalities. Spoiled grain often develops large clumps that stick together either on the grain surface, in the center of the bin, and or on the bin wall, clogging outlets and not emptying as it should. A late planting last year led to a late harvest, and some of the grain didn't dry down like it should, with 20% moisture in bins, particularly soybeans. McNeil says under drying of the grain is going to cause storage problems if it's under dried it's not going to store well and you're going to have flow problems likely to have flow problems especially as it warms up and the biological activity in the bin gets more active mm. and um, that kind of contributes to it producers may also be dealing with condensation on bin walls or roofs which causes the grain to spoil and stick together when left unchecked this can result in a large clump of grain which can block the flow. When crusty grain dislodges, it could cause tons of grain to collapse. Without warning, and with someone inside the bin, that spells big trouble. If you have to walk out onto the grain surface to try to break up a clump of grain, then you're getting a little, uh, um, literally almost on thin ice. You're more at risk, and you wouldn't even want to do that if, if, uh, if the grain surface had not been disturbed. Since 1962, Purdue University has been gathering data on U.S. farm incidents related to grain handling and storage. As of the end of 2019, there have been over 2,100 cases that resulted in an emergency rescue, injury, or fatality. And in the past three years alone, there were 144 grain entrapments, falls, and equipment-related entanglements, and 69 deaths. McNeil said being buried in just a foot of grain can be so much weight a person cannot move, and he can't stress the importance enough of wearing personal protective equipment and always work in pairs in a grain bin. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.